Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing y'all how I made this fun Christmas welcome mat for my front porch. Um, you need a plain core mat, some masking tape, a marker, paint, and a paintbrush. I found my mat at Target. It was really difficult to find one that was not outrageously expensive. I think I spent about $10 on this one, so if you're looking for one, I suggest Target. Then I used masking tape to basically divide my mat in half horizontally and I used a ruler just to make sure that it was even on left to right so that nothing is going to end up slanted. And then I also did the same thing vertically and this is just going to help you break things apart so that your spacing ends up even and you're, you know, you don't run out of room for all your words and stuff. So I used an orange sharpie and I sketched out Merry Christmas in cursive. If I were to do this again, I would use a brown washable marker. I thought the orange was going to be close enough to the natural color of the coconut fibers that it was going to blend in. Um, it's not horrible, but if I were to do it again, I would use a brown washable marker. So again, just sketch out whatever you're going to write, and this just gives you a little bit of a guideline so that you don't get in there with the paint and realize that you don't have enough room to write what you're going to write. It's much easier to correct it when you've just done it in marker first. Then I used acrylic paint and just a paintbrush and basically just very lightly went over the work that I'd done with the marker. At this point too, it's not such a big deal if you sort of decide that you want a letter to look a little bit of a different way, you can easily fix it there. Um, the nature of the mat, it's basically coconut fibers that are packed in really densely, so just going over in a paintbrush is not gonna give you a nice thick even coat. So I just went over one light coat and then I went in with my paintbrush and basically blotted and dabbed the paint into basically where the lines are, you kind of have to coat every single fiber. It's super, super time consuming. Then for the bottom, you have to get kind of math nerdy here and you have to use measurements and use math and division, all the stuff that you thought you'd never use again after school. So I had to measure across how wide it was. I believe mine was 64 centimeters and then the phrase that I wanted to use had 17 characters including spaces, don't forget spaces. And then I basically notched all that out and I used my marker and a ruler to make sure that everything was nice and straight and I sketched out yeah, filthy animal. Then I did the same step as before where I went over it lightly with the paint just to sort of, you know, give myself nice defined lines and everything. And then after that was done, I went in with one of those um, sponge brushes and I did the same as before where I blotted, but since everything was nice and straight, the little sharp angle of the sponge brush actually worked really, really well. This part is so, so time consuming, so just put on some YouTube videos or Netflix or something just to keep yourself occupied because it's very time consuming, but it's so worth it. The thicker you get the paint, the better it looks when it's all finished. Once it was dry, I removed the tape and then I just went in and added some little flourishes and embellishments to the cursive part. And that was it, this project was done. Um, very easy, this project is time consuming, so just kind of be prepared for that, but I think it's very much worth it. It's totally custom, it's something that's exactly what I wanted, and it makes people laugh when they see it. So that's it, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget if you enjoyed the video to give it a thumbs up. If you have requests for future videos, don't forget to leave them in the comment section down below, and I'd love to have y'all follow me on my other social media accounts. See you in the next video, bye.